Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily NVIDIA report for Thursday, August 1st, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. I'm going to point to this one here, and that is to say that, um, you know, we settled below this channel bottom uh, over a week ago. Uh, at the time, I balked at it being uh, a, a sell signal into the 95, even a 9740 region. That obviously didn't happen anyway. Uh, and, and in fact, do I have the formation that I was looking at? And I think we've erased it for space concerns, but, uh, you know, concerns out of space. <laughs> concerns that there's not enough space in the document. That's what I'm trying to say. There was a channel bottom that came across this low here uh, that today is at 109.15. Uh, um, so there's that. But uh, 118.96 uh, can contain intraday buying. Uh, and I also want to mention how uh, the fact that we settled, and one of the reasons I'm, I'm still kind of ignoring this uh, uh, at, at the risk of being wrong once again, of course, but you know I don't see us topping out here and falling away into the 95, 97, 40 region over the next week or two, because on Wednesday, we closed above a two key trend defining near term resistance levels. One is a descending one third speed line coming off that June all time high. The other is a three week channel top coming off of uh, the July high. And they come in at 112.53 to 113.38 today. This is an area you can buy in anticipation of this could be within three to five days. It could spill into later next week, but no later than that. I think uh, by the end of next week or sooner, the 127.04 to 126.85 area is likely. And with recent volatility, this could be within one to three days quite easily. But once again, on the way up today, I want to draw your attention to 118.96. It can contain intraday highs. And, you know, this is also not a bad day trade level for day traders. Selling 118.96, buying back in the 112.53 to 113.38 region. And if you're buying 112.53 to 113.38, not just day traders, but three to five week, a uh, three to five day out to one to two week swing traders, because as I just said, holding above 112.53 to 113.38 area maintains a, uh, a 126.85 to 127.04 by the end of next week objective. Uh, and the upside today, if we were to push through 118.96, we have a Fibonacci level here. I can't remember exactly which one's probably the 50% at 123.31 that would be anticipated. So pushing through or opening above 118.96, 123.31 is likely. That could be it for the day. Uh, and, um, you know, but once again, we're expecting 126.85 to 127.04. And if we were to close today above 123.31, you can see that tomorrow would be the day that we would actually test the targeted 126.85 to 127.04 region, which if you've been long following the settlement, say uh, yesterday above 112.53 to 113.38, those were different numbers yesterday. But if, if you went long overnight anticipating this upper area, this upper area at 26.85 to 27.04 is your profit taking zone. And you can play the short side here. We can rotate, fall away from here in the two to three weeks following uh, this testing of the 126.85 to 127.04 region. In fact, it would be the channel bottom that is presently, you know, in the mid 90s that I would anticipate within two to three weeks as a possibility. It wouldn't be a clear cut target, but when you're testing channel resistance like this, you cannot discount the possibility of bearish rotation back to channel support. And that channel support presently in the mid-90s correlates well, at least right now, with that zone between 95 even and 97.40, an area we did not test. Let's cover the downside uh, today. 
Um, I don't show it. Once again, there's not enough room on the page. But if we do happen to break or open today, well, first, let's let's go back to this chart. If we break or open below 112.53, 109.15 is likely. And that can contain the balance of the day's selling pressures. Yesterday's low was 110.88. We could slip through that by a hair. That may be it for the day. But if we close today back below 112.53, we're back on our heels through the rest of the week and into next. I would expect expect 102.55 within just a day or two that can, like it did uh, Wednesday, sorry, Tuesday of this week, contain daily selling pressures. But overall, closing below 112.53, one to two week swing traders can shift south again. You don't want to be long this market as we move through the rest of the week and into next if we close below 112.53. Because within a week or so of doing so, I would then once again anticipate this zone of support between 95 even and 97.40, where we can bottom out on a weekly basis possibly into later August. I hope that all makes sense. In terms of the big sort of swinging for the fences uh, signal that you may anticipate and trade off of, I think that would be a settlement above 127.04. Then we have a sustained rally through the rest of August and into uh, September trade. I would expect the 150s end climbing within two to three, three to five weeks of closing above 127.04. Until then, your two to three week swing trade is actually playing the short side Side once we, if we push into the 126.85 to 127.04 region. Now, NVIDIA is a big part of the NASDAQ 100, and we cover the NASDAQ 100 at wickedstocks.com. I do want to bring your attention to things that I've been mentioning in this. I've been showing these charts. This is a weekly chart of the Triple Q and the NASDAQ 100, and mentioning how uh, three, four weeks ago, we were testing four and a half uh, year channel resistance, telling our subscribers this is a great area to short sell for that index on the Triple Q itself, anticipating anticipating playing the short side three to five week sell signal down to this channel bottom that we actually tested. And I'll show you on the daily chart here that we've tested over the last week. The reason I'm bringing this to your attention is because it actually does coincide with what we're seeing in we've, what we've seen in NVIDIA. As we were testing three, four weeks ago, the four year, four year channel resistance, we were placing highs uh, in, the, in June of this year uh, that when NVIDIA was actually at its all time high. And of course, as we fell to our, uh, as our target, this channel bottom here on the daily chart, as we've fallen and tested it over the last week of activity, that also coincided with, of course, NVIDIA falling to its pullback low that was put out Tuesday of this week. This is my way of saying, I think you should have Triple Q and NASDAQ 100 a technical analysis at your disposal. Uh, you can see, you know, another perspective uh, that will might actually give you a little bit more uh you know, support, uh, and no pun intended there, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, your trading of NVIDIA. Having the triple Q at your side and what the big picture on the index is telling you, uh, I think can actually help very much. And you can get this information for free for five days. Go to wickedstocks.com. You can become a subscriber and have it day by day by day for $47 a month. Also, the SPY every day for $47 a month. The whole, everything, everything I'm mentioning, Triple Q, the SPY, two stock picks a week, a weekly analysis in the NASDAQ 100, S&P 500, and Apple. You get it all for 47 bucks a month. So check out wickedstocks.com. Please click like, share, subscribe. I'll be back, of course, tomorrow with Friday's NVIDIA report. And you have a great evening.